Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 2008 American horror film named Babysitter Wanted. In a small college town, a young girl working a babysitting job on a rural farm is terrorized throughout the night. Kindly remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. At the beginning of the movie, we see a girl who is tied up by a man someplace. That man had marked up that girl's body because he is going to cut her body in the same way. The man then starts hitting the girl on the head with a hammer and kills her. Next, we see a girl named Angie who is praying with her mother, and her mother is very religious. Angie comes away from her home and mother to study in college, where she finds that her roommate Erica has made a lot of mess in the room. And since there is only one bed in that room, she has to sleep on the sofa. Now the next day when she goes to college with her roommate, he sees a missing poster of the same girl we saw at the beginning of the movie. The name of the girl is Rebecca. Angie asks Erica about Rebecca, to which she tells her that this girl suddenly disappeared a few days ago and she may have run away with her boyfriend. Just then Angie sees a poster of a babysitter's job there and she takes the contact number from it. Meanwhile, we see that a man is keeping an eye on her, but Angie is unaware of it. Now when she is in her class, then that man also comes there. This time Angie notices him and gets very scared. But when she looks back again, the man is not there. Now her teacher shows the class a picture and tells them how the demons made by the devil used to attack poor people and get them to do their work. He further states that demons can be killed only with the help of a priest. Now in the next scene, Angie calls on that number and asks about the babysitting job, on which they call her to their house. On the way, Angie notices that someone is following her car but after a while, she does not see anyone there. Then after some time she reaches the house, where she finds a couple named Jim and Violet. Their son Sam loves to wear cowboy outfits and they offer Angie a job, asking if she is free to babysit Sam the following Saturday night. Angie accepts their job offer and goes back to the hostel, when on the way she meets a boy named Rick, who lives in the building adjacent to her hostel. He tries to talk to her, but Angie doesn't stop there and comes to her room, where her roommate is drinking and doing drugs with her boyfriend. Seeing this, Angie comes out from there where she sees that man again. Then she comes to a church and starts praying. Here she again meets Rick, who tells her that he has been to a Catholic school, which is why he attends church every Sunday. Now the next morning Angie finds Rebecca's missing poster outside her room, which she is quite surprised to see, and comes to the police station and informs them about it. The police officer listens to her and gives her his number and tells her that if she has any problem, she can call him. Now that night, Angie has to go to the babysit Sam, but her car breaks down and won't start. Just then Rick comes there. Angie asks him for a lift and Rick drops her at Jim's house. Here Jim sees Rick and asks Angie about him, to which she says that he is just a friend. Now before going out, both of them explain some things to her and then leave from there. After this Angie starts reading the book to spend her time. Then all of a sudden the lights of the rooms upstairs go off, but she ignores it and starts making coffee for herself. She then calls Rick and tells him not to come to pick her up in the morning, as Jim will drop her at the hostel. Rick tells her that he has fixed her car, and when she ends the call and starts leaving, the phone starts ringing. When she picks up the call, no one from the other side speaks, so she hangs up. But the phone rings again and this time also no one says anything. Now she gets a little nervous and calls Rick and asks if he was calling her, to which he says that he did not make any call. Meanwhile, we see that the man had come outside Jim's house following her. Now Angie felt that maybe someone has entered the house, but then she sees him there. He tells Angie that he is hungry and takes out a box from the fridge and gives it to her. Angie sees that there is meat in that box and then she heats that food and serves it to him. She sees that Sam is eating the meat with his hands. She notices that there is someone outside the house which scares her a bit. She asks Sam to stay in the kitchen and calls the police and tells them that someone is outside the house. To which the officer says that they are reaching there quickly and asks her to remain calm till then. Now when she comes back to the kitchen, she sees that Sam is not there. She starts searching for him all over the house but cannot find him anywhere. This upsets her, so she calls Rick and asks him to come immediately. Then that man enters inside the house, seeing whom she hides. The man goes upstairs looking for something and Angie starts looking for a weapon to deal with him. Meanwhile, we see the man's face with a lot of cuts and an antique dagger in his hand. Just then Angie sees Sam and she tells him to run away. 
Now hearing her voice, the man comes downstairs and tries to catch her. But she knocks him unconscious by hitting a flower pot on his head. Then she takes Sam to her car but forgot the keys at home. Now when she comes back home to collect the keys, the man gets up and tries to reach Sam to kill him. Here we see him calling him devil and then he starts throttling him. But Angie attacks him with a golf stick and knocks him unconscious. She then sees that the man is a priest and she is shocked to see why this priest wants to kill this child. Now when she looks at Sam, she sees two horns on his head and understands that Sam is a devil and that is why the priest wanted to kill him. Now Sam tells her that he is hungry, but Angie is very scared and she tries to run away. Just then Jim and Violet return home. Seeing the priest through Jim says that he had killed him in Romania. Then how did he come to life? Meanwhile, priest regains consciousness, but Jim slits his throat with a knife so that he cannot be resurrected. Now he comes to Angie and tells her that she can't leave now, and then he knocks her unconscious. Then he tells Violet that they will have to leave this place as well because now everyone is getting to know about Sam. So they will leave tonight only. When Violet asks him about Sam's food, he reveals that he has kidnapped a girl from the city. Then he brings the girl out of the car and puts her on a table. He had also tied Angie there and she starts crying seeing this. Now Jim tells her that Sam is the son of a devil and he likes to eat meat from females. Then he says that today, for the first time, he is talking to a girl cutting someone because before he has done this work alone. He also tells her about Rebecca, that he had cut her and fed her to Sam. After this, he takes off the clothes of that girl and starts making marks on her body, and then is about to hit her on the head with a hammer when Angie starts screaming. Jim goes to her and asks her to see all this because after this he is going to cut her in the same way. Then he goes back to that girl and hits her on the head, due to which she dies immediately. Now he hangs that girl on the hook and then cuts it into small pieces and packs it. He then comes to Angie and is about to attack her. But only then the police come outside the house and he stops. Then when he goes out, the officer asks him about Angie. To which Jim tells him that she has left here a while back. Hearing this, the officer gets suspicious of him but he leaves without saying anything. While leaving, he notices that Jim's car number does not belong to the state. Then he stops after going some distance and asks his team to get the information about his car number. Here Violet understands that the officer is suspicious of them. But Jim ignores her words and says that he is going to kill Angie. Meanwhile, Angie finds Priest's dagger there and she frees herself with its help. Now when Jim comes back, she attacks him with the same dagger and runs away. Outside she hides behind a tree where she finds Rick unconscious. She thinks that Jim has killed him too. So she starts running away. But Jim catches her and knocks her down. Then he picks her up and brings her back to the cabin where he hangs her upside down by hooking her leg. But then the officer comes there and points the gun at him and asks him to surrender. He then tries to tie his hands. But suddenly Violet comes from behind and attacks him with an axe and injures him. Now Violet is about to kill the officer but Angie shoots her with the officer's gun and kills her. And then she shoots and kills Jim too. Now the officer takes her to the car and asks her to get out of there. But Angie refuses to do so and says that Sam is still alive. Just then Sam comes there and kills the officer. After this, he starts moving toward Angie and says that he is feeling hungry. Angie somehow escapes and comes to the cabin but Sam comes there too. She tries to give him the meat kept in the packet but Sam did not want that. Just then she sees that the hook is stuck in Sam's leg and she quickly pulls the rope, hangs him upside down, and then attacks him with a rod and kills him. Meanwhile, it is morning and Angie tries to get out of there in a car but she is unable to drive the car. Only then did the police come there and admit her to the hospital. Now when he regains consciousness, Rick stands in front of her. Then an officer comes there and tells her that they have found the skeletons of 20 girls in that house along with the dead bodies of that couple and the senior officer. But they could not find the body of that child anywhere, which meant that Sam was still alive. Angie gets shocked hearing this as she had killed him with her own hands. Next. We see a couple who are putting up a poster of Babysitter Wanted, and their son is none other than Sam. Now a few days later, Angie along with Rick finds that antique dagger and sets out to kill Sam and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.